Hey guys, it's Jason Love with Jason Love's Life, uh, and I uh, wanted to do an update since I haven't done one in a while and let you know that the Mad Men of Magic is in full production mode. Um, so, basically, I guess I can explain what that is. So, uh, we created a plan. Uh, as you know, we got the Kickstarter funding, and just a few weeks ago, we got uh, actually got the funds in our account. So we've been um, sending off off our designs to the printers. We've been doing, uh, you know, we got T-shirts and we got some posters that we got to get, um, and we're ordering quite a f we're qu ordering quite a few extra just so that we can send them, um, bring them with us when we finally get around to doing some comic book conventions. Uh, so I, I just did a, a post, I guess, a week ago now, but it's basically talking about what what we need to do and I'm actually going to uh, sort of our schedule now it's it's very pretty detailed it's not specific but it, it has a lot of details in it so I'm not actually going to read it all off here um, because it would take a long time but you know basically we need to let's see you know finish the comic book uh, we have to get that printed while we are printing all the rewards. So the estimated date for delivery is we're hoping to get everything out by the second week of December so that everyone will have uh, their comic book copy, uh, their t-shirts, their prints, everything by Christmas. That's our goal. And, and it shouldn't be too hard. I don't know about shipping to Canada. I don't know how long that takes. Um, but you know, uh, can't can't be helped. We are from Wisconsin. Um, you know, I'll be shipping on Wisconsin, so Wisconsin's not that far, depending on what part of Canada you are that you're in. But um, you know, Toronto is a bit of a drive. I've been to Toronto and I've been to British Columbia, but I haven't. You know, um, and I know we have at least two two backers from Canada. So uh, yeah, I just want to check in, let you know that. Uh, I got a message the other day asking, hey, when's the comic book coming? I'm very excited to get it, and uh, we're working on it. Uh, we kind of redid some of it, which um, didn't add really that much onto it because it was parts that we hadn't hadn't designed yet because we had about half of it done already. I should say not, not done, half of it drawn, and so I still need to go through those. I've, I've laid them out, but now I have to sort of... Uh, you know, I put them where I want the panels to go, but I haven't actually, you know, final, final, I, I haven't quite decided the panel style yet, you know, like the borders and that. So that part, um, which isn't really that important, all I just got to do is pick one. Um, pick one and then, you know, cut out the parts that are outside the panel. And then, you know, after that happens, I might have to tweak them a little bit just so that, you know, the uh, importance of the see, scene. So we did half the drawings already. And uh, the the second half is in process. Now, part of the problem with saying, like, what percentage we do is we don't do it, A, we don't do it traditionally in the sense that um, we don't write a script. Normally, you write a script that's almost like a movie script. Uh, and I've done script writing. And, and I don't like it because um, as a, as when I write the script, I actually think very, I think in images. Um, so I would rather, I, I actually go through, and I'll explain this another time, but I, I, I'll give you sort of a, a shortened version of this. I actually go through and I come up with basically uh, like beats, like this is what I want to happen on this page. And I like doing that because, um, and you could do that too, it's pretty much just an outline. And I take that outline and I say, okay, what images best represent that outline? And then I say, okay, now I'm going to take that. So uh, I take those outlines and then I, I write to that and so um, I don't think that's what normal people do I think a lot of times when people write they write they leave a lot more up to the artist while I'm actually literally drawing it in my head and then writing to the drawings so it's sort of a backwards process I think than the, the norm um, I'll go deeper into that I plan on doing like a podcast about it and, and I might as well post that podcast as a YouTube video as well, just in case people are interested in how the writing process. But uh, yeah, um, that was really a long way of saying that the comic books are being created as you watch this. Uh, if it's soup, you know, if it's after December, they should be done before December, and then hopefully printed. Um, 
I want to wait a little bit to send off the digital forms just because uh, uh, I actually want to try to get the printing copy. You know, I want people to get the print the digital version just a little bit before they actually get the printed version in the mail, and uh, that way I don't get you know the I don't send out the digital version and everyone's like, hey, where is the printed version? They're like, oh, it's going to take two weeks because that's how long. The printers I've talked to, I, I got a few more I got to talk to. The printers I talked to says you know uh, anywhere between you know I think a week is like the shortest. And that's not including delivery up to 10 days and that's not including delivery and I think the other one I talked to said expect two weeks just expect two weeks because that way uh, you know people aren't like oh where's my comic book when you say 10 days so we'll just say two weeks and I would even give it a couple extra days because you know you never know with shipping so yep they're on their way um, have a wonderful day just check it in Jason Love check out the website at www.jasonloveslife.com thank you